Jason, kick butt, man. Always. So that's what you gotta do, because this is it. We put on a good show. 50 years and the show is better than ever. Grotto Pizza owner Dominic Polari does not have to be in the kitchen at one of his more than 20 Grotto Pizza restaurants, but there are few places he would rather be. I kind of think leadership starts from the top, and I kind of think as much as I can help them, even physically, I try to do it because, um, I, first of all, it makes me feel good. I see our customers, um, I see our employees firsthand. While watching a grotto pizza being made, it is hard to imagine that Dom was just 17 when he came from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, down to the beach to work with his brother-in-law. In 1960, the first grotto pizza restaurant opened just off the boardwalk. So it was very, very humble. To say it was a restaurant would be exaggerating. That first year, Grotto grossed 13,000 bucks. Business tripled the second year, and it's been booming ever since. During the summer, Grotto employs over 1,500 people, about 1,000 year-round. Dom used to coach while teaching school in Smyrna during the off-season, and he still loves coaching. And I like to try to make it fun, even though it's hard work. Uh, uh, when you see teams, the team coming together, working together, uh, that's I get very excited about that and like this year for example I think I have probably one of the best teams that I've ever had. When you talk to Grotto employees the loyalty to Dom is palpable and so is the unwavering commitment to making customers happy and making top quality food. It's paramount. It's pretty it's instilled in us that quality is paramount. It's a family environment not only with our guests which is the biggest thing we try to promote is family business but with the employees, um, Dom interacts, the owner, interacts with uh, the employees on a, a very personal level in the sense that he's there uh, in a supportive and working role. The owner, Dominic, uh, he really instills in everybody uh, to build great relationships, not only with the customers, uh, but with the employees themselves. And it, it, it is a total family atmosphere uh, throughout the company. Whether it be this one-year-old coming to Grotto's for his first time with 31 family members, or this 95-year-old here with 30 at Grotto's Grand Slam Sports Bar on Route 1, Grotto Pizza has always and will always be about family, literally. I actually teethed on Grotto crust. Grotto assistant manager Heather Haddock might have more family ties at Grotto than anyone else in the company. Listen to this. I became an employee with this company because my father and mother are both managers. Um, in fact, they met here. Uh, my brother is also a manager in this company. Heather's aunt and uncle also work at Grotto, all in the family. Grotto general manager Chris Short met his wife one summer at Grotto. He's proud of this company. You can look at Grotto Pizza sometimes and say, it's just pizza, isn't it? But it, it's so much more to Delaware uh, with financially what he does as far as the money that he raises for other organizations and uh, worthwhile projects. The legendary taste of Grotto Pizza is rivaled only by the legendary philanthropy of Grotto, which has given millions to charity. I've been fortunate and I, and I kind of think uh, with that comes some kind of responsibility and, um, and I, get a, I, I, get, I get happier by, you know, give something away. Dom, you have given plenty. Thank you. Grotto Pizza, the legendary taste from a legendary coach and his incredible team.